So, I mean, it certainly does show that over the last, how, how many decades has it been? 160 years. Well, we evil white people uh, have made zero progress with respect to, you know, racism. We just, you know, <laughs> I mean, Aunt Jemima has to be canceled because, well, it was a stereotype of a black lady and it reminds white people in 2020 that it was just great antebellum. It was wonderful. Wouldn't it be nice to go back to those times? What kind of crazy person believes this crap? Well, it would be a professor of black history studies, wouldn't it? Yes, in the article linked below. So Aunt Jemima, gone. Certainly Uncle Ben and his delicious rice. I mean, every time I saw Uncle Ben, I'm like, oh yeah, where's the antebellum stuff? Because I love, <laughs> yes, it's mind boggling is what it is. So Uncle Ben's delicious rice is going to be something else. We certainly can't have cream of wheat. Cream of wheat on the box to this day. There's a black chef cooking up delicious food. And when the cream of wheat started in 1890, that man would have been employed and being paid to be a chef. <laughs> Let's not talk about any of that. Let's not talk about people who literally 25 years out of slavery saw packages with a black lady on there. Some might even be proud of that. It's like, look how far we've come. 25 years ago, I was a slave. Now, there's a picture of a black lady on a box of pancake flour. No, no, let's not look at it that way. Let's not look at it positively. Let's look at the negative part of it. Wow, it just reminds you white people of before the war. So the cream of wheat guy's gotta go. Uncle Ben's gotta go. Got to get rid of Stubbs Barbecue because Stubbs Barbecue, well, there's a black man on there with, with a cowboy hat. We all know what that means to evil white people, right? Well, you see them black guys be cooking up ribs, chicken, and having watermelon. Such is the mental derangement of people who think everything is freaking racist. I look at a jar of Stubbs barbecue and I'm an evil white supremacist, you know, Nazi. That is some delicious barbecue sauce. That man, he, he knew how to make sauce, man, or he still does. The last thing I think is some stereotype antebellum. But hey, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm the only white person in the country who doesn't think that way. Uh, or maybe not. So I have a proposal. I think we should name Aunt Jemima goods, pancakes, syrup, and flour, and all that. Aunt Karen. It's got a nice ring to it. Auntie Karen's syrup and pancake mix. And you know what happened? Karen's, they'd be calling Quaker Oats. You're implying that women are in charge of making pancakes, you evil son of a bitch at Quaker Oats. You know that would happen. Feminists, leftists, Marxists, BLM, all of the ists, one day say, we need to get rid of this because it's racist, it's a symbol to this, it's sexist, it's whatever the hell it is. And the next day sometimes, or even the next week, after their demands are met, they turn 180 and say, wait a minute, there aren't enough black people or, or Karens represented in advertising. We need to see our own people in advertising. <laughs> and it's racist if you don't put pictures of us on boxes of cereal. This is how the game is played, guys. I don't have to tell you this. These groups want to keep, especially white people, walking on eggshells. Because you never know what's wrong. You never know what's bad. You don't know what's good. You don't know what to say. You don't know what to do. Do I like Aunt Jemima pancakes? You're a racist. I kind of like Aunt Karen's pancakes. You believe women should be in the kitchen, pregnant, barefoot, and you're a Nazi. You cannot win. I'll put the link below. James Maxwell. Thank you for listening.